Okay, what we're going to cover here is changing your DNS in GoDaddy. And what DNS stands for is Domain Naming System. First, I'm going to assume that you've already got a GoDaddy account. If you don't have a GoDaddy account, you can click on the link below, and that will take you to a website where you can sign up for it. It doesn't cost you anything, but you're going to need to have an account in order to have your web name. Now, once you've signed into your account, you'll click on here where it says My Account over to the right. Okay, you also want to make sure you're logged in because it'll time out on you, as you see here. Okay, now we've logged into the account and you'll click on there. We'll view all domains. I just see I've got a few domain names in here. Okay, and now let's come over to this spot. And let's say we'll go ahead and um, you select a name, the one that you're going to change the DNS name, sorry before. You go ahead and click on it like we've done here. And then you click on the button, the name server button, and set name servers. Okay, that'll pop up a separate window there. Okay, let's move there. Okay, and you see down here, you'll want to have clicked, I have specific name server for my domains. See right in here, right in here. And what you'll want to change that is to ns1.blogingforddollars.com. And we'll do a little shortcut. We'll just copy this one and paste and paste it here. Whoops. And then change the NS1 to NS2. And then you'll click OK. Now in this case I'm not going to click OK because I've already set the DNS server up for this particular name. So we'll just go ahead on and click cancel right here. And basically, you're done. You've, you've changed the DNS server. Now, what you're going to have to do is generally uh, wait a few hours. If it's a brand new name, it'll, it'll change over pretty quickly. But if not, give it a few, you know, a few hours. It can take as long as a day. I've never really seen them take that long, but it can. So be patient.